angels. I'm gonna look it up in the computer. Eleanor. I'm trying to look for the tutorial on, on my computer so I could see the messages. I don't know why I can see it. Oh, here it is. Eyes are burning. How's everybody doing today? I can't see comments. I only saw Lenore. I don't know what I did. Oh. Hey, baby. Hey, Cherie. Hi, Michelle. If I could open this up. I'm always fighting with this clay thing. Could never open it. What else is new, guys? What else is new? Sorry I couldn't get on it yesterday, but I got home so late and I had a week from hell and whoever is here, can you say hi? So I know you're here. Can you post in the group that I'm live? In the chat, angel chat? I'm not seeing comments. I was seeing comments, but. ABC. <laughs> I see a comment. Where are the angels at? I know. Everybody wondering a tutorial on this cup and nobody's around. What the hell? I'm 
I'm just getting my things prepped. Don't mind the mess back there. Those are cups that are ready to be sent out. Should I start? I mean, I wanted more people to be on so I don't have to repeat myself a thousand times. I think I'm gonna start doing my tutorials on YouTube instead of the group. I can't chair, so I don't know. You can't chair in the group? Yeah, I think I'm gonna start doing the tutorials on YouTube live and then whoever wants to see a tutorial, they just go to YouTube instead of me doing it in the group. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna start. So, uh, the tutorial today is gonna be on this cup. Okay, so I usually do my, um, my clay first and then i do the painting today so i could do everything in one step i'm gonna do the bubble effect and i'm gonna do the painting first then i'm gonna work on my mermaid tail and then once it dries i could paint it the same color i'm painting the cup okay so yeah, I don't have the share button, so I don't even know. This cup is sold already, so. Hey, Crystal. Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to get some water with some soap and a straw because we're gonna be blowing into this to make bubbles and that's what we're gonna, uh, ooh, give me a minute, I forgot one thing. Hey, Kayleen, give me a minute, guys. I'm sorry, I wasn't ready. I thought I was. Hello, 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 Kaylin. I thought I was ready, but I'm never ready. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, what you're gonna need is, you prep cup, I sanded my cup and I painted it. You're gonna use UV resin. You're gonna need a UV lamp. I can't really show you the lamp, there you go, a UV lamp. Water and soap. You're going to need clay. You're 
You're gonna need all your micas to whatever color you're using. I'm gonna actually do the same color. So I got Iris, Inconceivable Shimmer, Punk Rock, Golden Goddess, Empowered, and Atlantic Dive. I'm gonna use all those colors and we just going to paint it. What else, what else, what else? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do the tail without the mold, but I cheated on that cup and I have a mold for that. Um, I got this mold from Michelle, but she no longer sells molds. So I might bring it in if you guys are interested. And then this one, I don't even know where I got it, but you could still do it by hand. You don't need a mold, but I am, I like to use the mold if I can use the mold to make it easier for me, especially if I have more orders. So, um, I'm going to bring you guys down and then we're going to start. Let me see. Can you guys see there? Okay. So first thing you're going to do, can you guys see there? Yeah, you can see. You can see because I can see. We are going to, I should get a container for this because I got a big brush and this brush won't work for this. Uh, give me another minute. I don't want to use, eh, let me use one of these. My brush is too big, so I'm going to use this. Hey, Corey. Long time to see, Mama. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start applying the UV resin. Um, just a thought. I mean, use a, a towel because it's very messy. Okay? But don't go crazy applying the resin all over the cup because remember you're gonna put it on the day uh you'll be light and when you do that <laughs> it's gonna dry so you have to do it by part in parts i would say let me see if i could bring these it's very messy guys so i'm gonna have water everywhere so we're gonna blow And those bubbles, you're gonna apply them on your cup. I'm gonna make more because I want it very bubbly. I mean, you could go over and do it again. So. I don't want it, I wanna put it where the, I put the UV resin. So, you're gonna bring your UV light, your UV light. I put mine for 30 seconds. So it's gonna pop all the bubbles and then you're gonna get the texture. You have to dry whatever is left. But that's what I say, you gotta do it in parts because it's gonna dry the resin, so it makes no sense to put it all over the cup. Put it for, oh no, I put it for 60, sorry. I bought this light in Amazon, so I gotta fix. I can't see comments, guy. Give me a minute. Okay, so I got 60 minutes. And then we're going to dry it. And you could already see the texture. And this is what we're gonna do all over. There's a delay, so, but you can see the texture already on the cup. 
So now we're gonna go and do it again. We're gonna do this part here. So what I'm saying, you have to, you know, just make sure you don't add a lot of, not don't add a lot, I mean, you don't need a glob, but just make sure you do it in, in parts because, you know, it's gonna dry anyway if you if you put it all over the cup. Not that you could can't do it if you put extra, not that you can't, you know, reapply it. You could always reapply it, but so I won't be bubbles. Look at the mess. It is very messy, that's why I say you gotta have a towel. I would say always keep an eye on your top and bottom if you want it, you know, to really have texture on the top. Cause the top really pops really fast. And we're gonna do it again. Doing 60 minutes. Yeah, you have to know how to blow. <laughs> oh my God, Lenore, come on, be nice. You're a bad, bad influence. If you don't know how to blow, this is not the technique for you. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to put this down. Yeah, Corey, you got, you gotta know how to blow. There you go, 60 minutes is up, we'll dry it. And you see, that's what I want. I want small bubbles, but I want I like the big bubbles too. So you have a big one right here, but I don't want it that big because then, the, you know, you don't get as, I mean, it's, it's your choice. I like more small bubbles than big ones, but it's up to you. Oops, I spilled my UV resin and I don't have a lot left. You see over here, I already had extra and it dried when I put the UV um, light. So I still could reapply and do it again and still work. So if you don't put bubbles in some of the resin, don't worry, you still be able to, you know, reapply. There it is. I got you. I got you, cup. I'm always keeping an eye on the top and the bottom because I like when the top gets uh, bubbles too. And like I say, they for some reason, they pop so much faster. There you go. 60 minutes. Oh, I didn't press. Hey, Sandra. Oh my God. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say something. He's being nice though. I gotta give him that one. So remember, um, if you wanna do the mermaid tail first, you can. Just wait until the mermaid tail is uh, completely cured. The reason I'm doing this is so I could do the whole process in one uh, tutorial and I don't have to do it in two, uh, in two parts. So uh, the cup is already painted, so we could paint it with mica once this is done. And then you do the mermaid tail and then you could paint the mermaid tail with uh, wire acrylic paint 
and then do the same thing with the um, do the same color of the micas with the micas on uh, on your tail. Look how cool. Look how cool this is, guys. Look how cool. See, this one is too big for my taste, but oh well. Once you put the mic, it will look nice. What happened to my resin? Did I spill it? Oops. I spilled my resin and I don't have a lot left. I mean, I have enough of this cup. Once you're done, you put your brush. Once you use that UV resin, you put your brush in alcohol, soak it in alcohol, and it would, you know, you'll be able to clean it with no problems. So don't stress that out about a brush. I know they cheap, but we spend so much money on craft that if we could save a little bit, There you go, one more time. Okay. I want small bubbles too, not only big ones, please. See, these are too big. Now that it's not gonna look nice, it's gonna look nice anyway. But I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm getting too much too big over here and I wanna make it small. If you don't want it too big, you could pop them and then add small bubbles. I'm popping them. There you go. 60 minutes, se uh, seconds, not minutes. 60 seconds. Hey, Tiffany. I know it looks awesome. You saw the finished cup, right, uh, Corey? I'm planning on going to a vendor's event. So I'm going to make some cups. And I made it for that. But Sandra already bought it. I'm sorry I'm in my pajamas, guys. I got to be comfy. Oh, no, Tiff. Yeah, <laughs> yes, Sandra, it's yours. You just bought it. I got to do another coat. I was working hard today, so I didn't have time. But on Monday, I will put another coat because I have my grandkids tomorrow here. So Monday I put the last coat and then it's all yours. See, I really like, and once you put the mica, when you have the small bubbles, it looks so freaking nice. The texture is awesome. I didn't do a good job painting a uh, base coat in this cup, but it really doesn't matter because I'm gonna paint it with micas anyway. Then I'm not gonna do the handle with bubbles because we are gonna put the tail there. So I'm not really worried about the bubbles there. If you're gonna, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna do these, of course, and you're not gonna have a tail, well, then you have to do the handle as well. There you go. These bowls don't want to stay up here, but I'm bringing it up here. I don't care what they want to do. I'm telling you, it's so messy. I have a big bowl here and I don't want it. I don't want it. So we're going to put the small ones in there.
Come on, stupid lamp. Oh my God. Hey, Jamie. I know, they were $5 in Walmart. <laughs> I'm always on my PJs, so I'll buy a lot of PJs. Is, is your grandson okay? Michelle? God, this shit is heavy. Sorry for my language. It gets to get heavy, it gets heavy. See? We almost done adding bubbles here, guys. Almost done. Well, we gotta do the booty too. Okay, so you gotta go under here because this is gonna show. So over here, you have to do it, like under the handle. But if you're gonna do the mermaid tail, you don't need to do on top of the handle. If you are go not gonna, uh, let it. if you're doing the bowl effect and not the tail, you gotta do the handle. But I'm not gonna do the handle because I'm not gonna freaking use it. So it's not much left. We're gonna put some here on the top. We're gonna put some in the bottom. Right here. Hey Maritza. I'm gonna wait 60 seconds. And all we have to do is the bottom, then we could start painting. Oh my God, Michelle. <laughs> I got all my grandkids coming tomorrow. Thank you, Chila. Hey, Mama, I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're okay. Gosh, this thing is heavy. There you go. Okay, so I gotta do the bottom because I haven't done the bottom. I always finish, I've seen a lot of people that don't do bottoms on the cup. I always finish my bottoms. I think they look nicer. I don't know what the deal is with not finishing the bottom. I don't know if it's a request from the clients or... But I like to finish my bottoms. Man, there's only one little spot that gives you trouble, always. Okay. Let 
The bottom is kind of tricky. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, as long as you're okay, mama, that's all I care. Sometimes I'm like, hey, I haven't seen this angel for a while. I'm always busy, but I'm always, I know who's not around. So I worry. Okay, so, it's all done. The booty, the entire cup. I'm just gonna make sure it's dry. So now I'm gonna do the micas. I'm gonna put my brush right here because I didn't prep the alcohol to clean it. But like I said, you put alcohol in a container and voila, it's clean. Now let me put back my resin because I don't have a lot left. The only bad thing is that this resin stings. Oh, I love you too, mama. Oh, do you like the glitters? Wait till you see the new ones. I'm gonna show them tonight. I got seven new colors. And oh my goodness. You guys are gonna love them. I was gonna do a box for uh, Easter, but honestly, I, I have no time. I haven't had time to do anything. So, now I'm going to open my micas. I'm gonna do it the same color. Irish, iris, inconceivable shimmer, I love this color. Oh my God, I love this color. This is punk rock, punk rock. Golden Goddess, all I'm gonna do is like dry brush it. I don't really want a lot of it because I don't want the gold to take uh, away from it, but it does have a little gold in it. So. Hold on guys, hold on. Are you, uh, uh, Sheila, are you in the Sparkling Angels chat room? We have a chat where we, uh, we make all the announcements. Just for announcement, not for people to talk or anything, but just to announce when I go live and stuff like that. So, if you're not on it, uh, PM me and then we'll fix that up really soon. So I'm gonna start with Iris because I love this purple. So remember we're gonna have the tail on but it doesn't matter because then you know if the tail is not completely down It would, it would show these colors in the bottom, but I'm using the same brush because I don't have a lot of brushes. <laughs> so I'm into these colors and we're just gonna alternate the colors. Send me a, um, no, I'm talking about, no, you're probably not in the chat room. I have a chat room just to uh, make announcements. It's not the group itself. So what you want to do when you're applying the colors, okay, you want to kind of blend these two colors together just at the edge. So it doesn't look like that pronounced. You see here, it's really pronounced. So we are going to add 
this color here and then we're gonna meet the purple with this kind of greenish whatever color it is that is beautiful so it doesn't you see it's not pronounced anymore so it's it's mainly blending the colors the right way because you don't want to see like a big like line or a mark and see the difference um what color did i do so i'm gonna put this one up here and i'm gonna blend in my colors oh look how pretty hey jody Sheila, send me a message uh, on Facebook and then um, I'll see what's going on. Uh, maybe, maybe you're not in the chat room that I'm talking about. This one here is... Punk Rock. Guys, I have so many, I have so many glitters, I, I like, I can't remember their names anymore. So we're gonna go with maybe this green and blend it in with punk rock. You just gotta choose your colors. I mean, you could do it any colors. I love mermaids. So I always do this kind, these colors. Let me see, let me see, let me see one more. Let's put the blue over here because it's too much green. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty. I want to make this blue a little darker, but not too dark. You see, so I try to blend in the color so it doesn't look so harsh. So, um, I'm gonna go with this because this one is too dark over here. I'm gonna blend it in. So palm rock doesn't look too harsh. And then if you do like in a circle mo motion, you don't get the harsh lines. Thank you, Cherie. Oops, this is not the one I wanted, no. This Irish is beautiful. I don't know why I say Irish. It's Iris. Nice, nice. I think this green is gorgeous too. So I'm gonna put the green right here. Following, make it a little bigger because I have green right here. I did the bubble method, mama. I'm gonna leave the tutorial in the group so whoever came in late could watch it, but it's called the bubble method. And the minute I I, um, I sign up for the live, you'll be able to see it. Okay, we're gonna go back to... Now, be careful because with the micas, you make a mess. A mess. You can find all these micas in my website. Let 
Let's go with this green over here. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna show you later on when I finish all my colors what I do. See so you you see how they look blend in? You don't see any hard, you know. I mean you're gonna see the different in colors, but it's not gonna be hard. The only hard part is here, but that's the color um the punk rock and I like it so I'm just gonna leave it there and we're gonna add some more over here Sheila, I'm gonna leave the tutorial in the group and uh, you're gonna see how, how I made the, the texture. So all you gotta do is you have to have UV resin, the resin that you use for um, the jewelry. And then it's water with soap and um and a UV uh, lamp which I got I got mine on Amazon okay what color should I do here let me match this one with this one because I miss a spot right here Ooh. Okay, so I need to know which color I'm gonna put. And I'm thinking I'm going with this color. I'm using the same brush. Look at the mess. So I'm gonna fix it a little bit because I don't want this to be too big. I want the colors to you see why you need to blow? You need to know how to blow because you all, all you do here is blow and blow and blow. We're going to go back with the purple because I don't want this whole area one color. But I have to see because I got to see in which, which side I'm going to add the... I'm gonna add the tail. So I'm holding the cup like this, the tail is gonna be on this side. Okay, so it really doesn't matter if I do one whole color because it's gonna be covered. Duh. But we need to do a good job, okay? So let's cover the whole thing up. You see what I said about, you know, always wash your top? I always make sure, thank you, Sandra, I always make sure that I have some in the top because if you don't pay attention, you'll get a lot of spaces that look like this on the top. And I like, you know, I like the texture on the top as well. I mean, you're going to have... Uh,
You're going to have epoxy, so you're not going to feel it. But I think the texture is beautiful on the top, too. Oops, not that one. Damn it. I got confused. Can you see I haven't used the gold one yet because the gold one is going to be last. And um, very little, cause you don't want the gold. The gold one will take over your colors, and you don't want that. So all you gotta do is go around, make sure you blend all your colors. At least I like to blend my colors nicely. See how much my car still comes out. Oops, I forgot the booty, guys. <laughs> hey, baby. I miss you, mama. Oops. I'm already making a mess. So since this one is green and the other one is like another kind of green, I don't want to put it together. So I put the blue. Now I like this green. I think I, this is the one I use over there. I'm going to, I'm going to add this one, which is stronger over here. And there you have it. And then you go like this. And that would mix all the colors. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about these because this is where the mermaid tail is gonna go so there you have it I think it's gorgeous now we're gonna go with the gold one let me cover this up because I don't want that one to go everywhere you could use whichever color you want if you want to use these colors you can find them all on my website Okay, so what you're going to do with the gold, because you have to be, like I said, you have to be careful. The gold will take over. So what I usually do with the gold, I take a little bit, and then I kind of clean it on the paper. And then, well, I clean it too much. So you don't want to put a lot, because then it would take over. And then just go in random places. It's like when you give it a wash. You see, you hardly see it, but it's there. I don't know if you could see it with the camera. But it's there. So, I want some gold. I just don't want the gold to take over my colors. So with the same one that I cleaned, I could go on around here. I might put a little more here. Because the tail is going to have gold. So I wanted it to match. I already saw the other one, but this one is going to be for sale, Winnie. See, I just, I don't know if you could see it, but maybe you could see it on the purple side. I just want it like, like an accent. You know, I don't want it to take over all my colors. So, put some in the bottom. Another thing, if you have a spot that you think it came out too dark and you're not happy with the color, freaking slap the gold right there. Nobody would know. 
messy i think it needs a little bit right here hey rhonda yeah don i bubbled on it okay so i think i'm good with the gold I don't want to like all about it. So I'm going to grab my cup like this. So my tail is going to go here. So let me put this away. My husband is having fun watching comedy. Thank you, Lenore. Sorry, guys. I'm thirsty. Okay, so here's the good part. Now, when you work with clay, remember, wait till it's completely dry before you try to paint over it or epoxy it. And I'm gonna show you why. And I should have known better, but I was rushing. I had a client that ordered a gnome for me, and she just wanted two colors. Okay, so I was like, oh, it's gonna be easy to make. And then, you know, I made it, and I didn't wait it enough, and look what happened. The clay wasn't completely cured, so I got, it cracked a little bit here, and it got yellow over here, and over here. So when you work with clay, I mean, I don't know if you could see it, it's right here. It's sad because this guy was so easy to make because it was only two colors. And I'm like, oh, I'll be done one, two, three. But I didn't wait it and now I gotta remake it. So remember always be patient. And since you work so hard on your cup, Oh, because I've been drinking water. I ate a sandwich and I'm so thirsty, it's, I'm dying. But I do use it, I go out with it. So, since you work so hard on your, I should clean these, but I don't have anything to clean it with. On your project, I hardly, hardly recommend you to wait until it's completely dry. So I'm gonna make the mermaid tail today. I live in Florida. So it's hot as hell here, but I'm still gonna weigh at least 24 to 30 hours. <laughs> I know, I was just, I'm always late, but I do drink. Um, Cherie, that glitter is um, sea moss. Okay, so we're gonna make the mermaid tail. Um, we're gonna make the handle. If you guys are interested in the mermaid mold, let me know, because if you guys are interested, I will bring it in. It does make my life a lot easier <laughs> to, um, to make this cup. with them all. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna wrap this up with your clay. You don't want it too bulky. At least I didn't want it bulky. But you know, we have to understand we're using our hands, so it's never gonna be perfect. You don't want it bulky, but you don't want it skinny because remember, we're gonna build the scales on it. I'm gonna make it a little thicker because it's too thin. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna make it a little thicker because I wanna do the, you don't want it too thin, but you don't want it too thick. First of all, it would take longer to cure. The good thing with this is that when you make a mistake, it's fixable. Mm. 
Okay, so let's try this again. Be patient, because when you work with clay, you can't rush. Oh my God, it's been so hot over here. The other day I was driving and I was soaking when my AC died. We're gonna water, we're gonna use a little bit of water. Always when you work with clay, use water. So it sticks better, you could form the clay better. At least I do, and at least I think so. And since I'm teaching you, you gotta go by what I say. Damn it. So, here you go. So, I was like melting, but I went to my son-in-law and I worked in the car with him. It was so funny. I was a mechanic for a day. I did good though. I even installed the radio in the car because I I'm, I was using my son's car and um, I didn't like the car and they stole his radio. He was so pissed off. <laughs> I'm like, who the hell is gonna steal the radio in this car? He goes, obviously somebody. So I had to buy him a radio and I had to install it because I didn't wanna pay anybody to install it for me. Awesome. So you're just gonna fill the spots that you need and then you mold it later. So don't worry about being out of shape. You just wanna have enough so you could, you could do your scales. I really like working uh, with clay. I want to make a cup with a, like a girl cup with a bikini, the top and bottom. If I ever finish with all my orders. Remember, I used Das Clay. Sadly, I couldn't find one today. So I had to buy this brand. A Sculpey. And I always buy air dry. For real. Well, my son has a 2001 Ford uh, Ranger. And I'm like, who the hell? I went to the store one minute, man. One minute. And they stole a freaking radio. The funny thing is that they only, uh, they only stole the face of the radio. They didn't even steal the entire radio. So I don't know what the hell they're gonna do with the, just the face. And my son goes, good going, mom. The only thing, the only good thing my car has was the radio and they stole it. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Christine. So now I have enough. No, I don't. I'm missing a big piece right here. Okay, so now I have enough. Clay, covering the cup. Now I'm gonna mold it. I'm gonna mold it because I don't want it so... Honestly, I don't like this clay. It's too soft. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to work with it, but it's, oh my God, I'm out of a, uh... sorry. I get so into molding my stuff and I didn't pay attention that you guys couldn't see. So once you put enough, then you mold it. Make it uh, the best you can because you don't want it all like out of shape. I like the way it molds, like it's too soft though for my taste. I like that. But this one is like better to work with, honestly.
Always pay attention to this bottom here, this here, so it looks nice once you put, you put epoxy. I'm trying to remove this little piece right here, but I didn't bring the... So I tried to make it look nice over here. Well, this one is not too much of a problem because I'm going to put the tail there. But you don't want it to look bulky and ugly here because then when you put the epoxy... There's a delay here, so I don't know what you're seeing. So try to mold it like close to the cup, really nice. You see? Make it really nice there. So when you put epoxy, it looks nice. A sculpting takes long, so be patient. See, it's bulky here, and I don't like it. Always wet your fingers. If you wet your fingers, it's going to be easier to um, work with the clay. Okay guys, I think this is good for me. Like I said, we molding with our fingers, so it's never going to be perfect. But you want it smooth. I don't want you guys to get bored, but I have to mold it because. All right, so. If you have this mold, I don't know if I got it in, in Michael's. Let me try it without the mold first. So if you don't have it, you wanna try it. Okay, where's my knife? These are plastic things that you could buy on Amazon and you, know, you don't need to spend a lot of money. So you could always make, I don't know how I'm gonna do this that you could see, you could always make your own scale Make sure you kind of go deep, not too deep, but deep, so it kind of. Okay, so you can make your own scale. And it comes out nice, but can you guys see what I'm doing? Just, you gotta fix it a little bit later because the little, uh, little pieces come up. So lay your stick or whatever it's called, I don't know what you call this. And kind of uh, make a groove. So it comes out like 3D. You see what I'm doing there? I don't know if you guys want me to continue it or just do it with the mold. With the mold is easy, but this looks pretty, you know, because it's more like you can make it more indented.
I hope you guys can see what I'm doing, guys, because... You want me to use the mold? It's nicer to do it like this, though, because with this, you could give it more, um, how do you call it? Like a more 3D look. With the mold, it looks like that. It doesn't do like a 3D, but I could try the mold too if you want to. Should I try the mold? What I do, I fix the edges with a little bit of water on my finger. Honestly, I like it better like this than with the mold. I guess because I'm so used to working with the clay. I think you do have all my micas. <laughs> Should I use my mold? And then I could always fix it because I want to do it like this, honestly. I think it looks a lot prettier, like, not prettier because the other one is gorgeous, but. Let me know if you want me to use them all. What are you doing? What you doing looks right. Yeah, I like it, but if you guys, you know, if so, if some of you that don't know how to work with, uh, with clay, maybe you think it's too hard for you or whatever. I could try to do it with the mold and show you. I think I got the molds on Michael's. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to do the bottom part with the mold. So what you do, you can't press the mold completely because if you press the mold, you're going to get the lines. So what you do is you put the mold on the top and go like this. You see, this clay is too, too soft. You see, but you don't get that 3D, you still get the nice look, but you don't get that 3D look that you get with this. So, thank you, Marixa. Yeah, my angels like helping. So, like I said, you just go like this and press it down all over the cup. It is easier. Which would you like better, that one or that one? I like it both ways. Like if, let's say I have a, a lot of orders, I would do the mold because it's less time consuming. But I like the, you like the mold? Who likes the mold? Who likes the, the, the manually? The mold is easier. That's for sure. You like the mold better or you think it's just because it's easier? So should I restart this one? Should I uh, remove these and do the mold? I like the cutting deeper too. I know, but you know, Lenore, I know it's work smarter, um, work smarter, not harder, but I really like the look. I don't know, I think it looks more like a mermaid scale. You like them all too? You don't like this look, Winnie? 
Okay, tell me guys, what do you want me to do? The mold or this? The thing with the mold is that this clay is too soft and it gives it a freaking indentation. Now what? So should I do them all? Speak up, God damn it! Oops, sorry. I didn't mean it in a bad in a bad way. Oh my God, this is divided. My angels are not this. You need to decide because. I think this is pretty. So how about since you guys don't make up your mind, I freaking do it my way. I think it looks pretty guys. You guys love giving me a hard time. Well, I don't know if Winnie wants it. She says she wants one. She didn't say she wanted this one. Oh, you want this one, Winnie? Okay, so how you want it? Do you want it with the mold? Okay, Winnie wants it with the mold, so the mold one. There you go. Playing again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do them all, guys. We're gonna do them all. Honestly, the mold is easier. I just like the 3D. I think it would be awesome to make uh, like the dragon cup. Okay. Mold, sold. Well, at least I told you how to do it. If you don't want, if you don't have the mold or if you like it the other way. So now I gotta fix my clay. I'll love her again. Okay, look, no, not like the mold. Okay, so let's do the mold. I wish it didn't have this part right here, you know? So we are going to, I almost say a bad word. Now it's too wet. You still gotta fix little parts. I don't like this, um, how do you call, I don't like this clay guys, so don't buy this clay, cause now I gotta fix it all over again.
But I'm a little paper cup. I know it's no no. Okay, so I gotta fix this one because this one looks ugly right here. Okay, so in the bottom, it doesn't matter if the bottom is thicker, remember the tail, you know, it's gonna come out of here. So you do it the way you like it. You gotta always fix it because this water. You want a little people cup too? What I mean, little people? I hate this clay. Don't buy this clay. This one is like, I'm gonna fix it because I'm gonna fix it. And I don't like something. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, cause I, I, this mold, it's, I wish it didn't come with that part. I could cut it, that's a good idea. See, I can't think straight lately. Okay, so we already have our handle. Remember, before you start your tail, Remember, you got to see where your tail is going to go. So I want the tail to come this way. If you have a lefty holding the cup, you want it this way. But I'm going to do it this way. Now, for the tail, I have this mold. So I'm gonna use this mold. Oh, the gnome, <laughs> the little people. <laughs> Did you see the gnome that I made that says, kiss my, you know what? If you guys, if you guys are interested in this small, let me know and I will bring it in. If not, I'm gonna try to make a tail without the mole for you guys to see. I love this tail. You don't have to make it thicker, thick. You can make it uh, thinner too, but I like the fact that it's like a 3D. So you wanna press it in because you want all the details on this mold. Okay, so when you're using a mold, make sure you press it down really good so you get your details from the mermaid tail. 
think I messed this up. No, I didn't. Okay. So I'm going to take it out. Fix the edges. And here's the tail. So all you got to do is you put your tail right here. Add a little water. I forgot. Add a little water on the bottom so it adheres to the cup. So we're going to put it right here. Okay, so these here, we're going to blend it in. If I find the right tool, we're going to blend it in. With this. Make sure you blend it in good because you don't want it to look uh, like weird. I'm going to try to make one without the mold in case you don't want to buy the mold. That's what he said. <laughs> Okay, so over here we are going to do manually little tail, little scales. Because I can't use the mold here because it's too small. Right in the bottom. You're going to make some scales. So it doesn't look plain. And over here, you're just gonna, where's the, just two like little holes. So it doesn't look less like plain. It's like part of the mermaid. mermaid. There you go. And here you have your mermaid tail. So let's attempt to make one. It's not going to be as pretty as that one. But I could give it a try. Sandra, behave. You see, it doesn't even... Ew. Okay, don't buy this. Play, guys. Das, das. Use das. Isn't it pretty? So now I, I wait 24 to 30 hours to completely dry. And then, I might need more. Clay, because we want to make it a little bigger. I'm going to make a small one, because I'm not, I'm not going to use the tail once I finish. So what you want to do is, you're kind of going to draw the tail. Um... I need a bigger clay. Damn it. Sorry guys, I need more clay because if not. I got glitter on the clay.
This is a small roller pin. For this one, I need a big one, but let's pretend, okay? Okay, so this is not the knife, this is the knife. Okay, so we're gonna make a tail. So we're gonna start here and go like this, like this. I don't know how to explain it though. Oops. You wanna go up here, down here. It's not big enough, you. I never done a tail right here, so wait a minute. Mm. And you gotta shape it. You could just do, instead of that, that you could just do like that. It's an easy, it's your tail. An easy tail. Oops, I didn't cut here. And then you sculpt it. You don't need this piece here. You sculpt it your own way. You could just make a simple tail. I don't know how to do a tail, honestly. I never try. So I shouldn't have tried this on camera. But you could do a simple tail. You mold it whichever way you want it. And you could do like, uh, I would say something like this. I don't know guys, I'm not a pro. <laughs> I'm not a pro, so I'm just trying to do something like in case, to give you an idea. This is a sick mermaid. <laughs> I can't do a tail, guys. I have never done one. So, but you could do a shape, I don't know. This is too deep inside, like, I don't like it. Anyway, I can't do a tail. I gotta try. I'll try next time. But you don't have to go fancy. I mean, you could, but if you find a tail, I can't do a tail. That's a shame. Mm. That's too big. Holy shoot. Now I gotta try to make a tail because not on the live. Because we'll be here to tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But anyway, I got my mold. I like my mold. It looks nice. It looks pretty. And that's how I make it. I never done a tail before, so I'm not going to try now life. <laughs> we'll be here to tomorrow because I'm the kind of person that if I don't know how to do something, I don't stop until I try and try and I get it done. So soon you'll see me making a mermaid tail. I did one for my bottle, but I don't remember how. Okay, so tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, we're gonna leave this for like 24 to 30 hours and see if it's completely dry. If it's completely dry, 
I'm going to paint it white and do the same colors mica. I don't know if you want me to go live to do that, but, you know. I like perfection. When something doesn't come out nice, I'm pissed. There you go. All right, so any questions? I'm gonna put it on the side. If you have a, um, those things to rest the cups, it's better for you to lay it down. If not, just because this, I don't like this clay. But anyway, that's done. Um, do you guys have any question? Yeah, hummingbird would be nice. I'm thinking for like a dragon cup with the dragon eye that I made. Hello! <laughs> Sorry, I'm a disaster. I couldn't make the mermaid tail. I let it dry between 24 to 30 hours because I showed, I showed the one I made and I didn't wait it long enough and it, it, it cracked and it got yellow in the bottom. So I'm going to wait. Um, who's ready for the new glitters? I got to show you these pretties. Oh, by the way, um, we're going to have an Easter sale the, starting tonight till next Sunday. Uh, the coupon code is PEEPS, PEEPS, and you get 30% of your um, entire order. So... Give me a minute, let me pick this up because I know I'm going to make a mess. Okay, so the first one I have is called Easter Hunt. Let me see if I could, mm, let me bring you guys down because you don't need to see my face. This is called Egg Hunt. Sherry, if you order, girl, you know I got your back. You always order before I do the sales, mama. Guess what? Um, choose two of the new glitters and I'll give it to you for free if you order. Okay? Or whatever, whatever you want to order. So this is called Spring Blossom. This one is amazing. It has little flowers. I hope you can see the little flowers in it. Look at, I don't know if you can see the little flowers. It's so pretty. These are all my custom mix. Peeps. P-E-E-P-S. I hope you can see the flowers. This is gorgeous. I love, love this one. Then we have Jelly Bean. Like I said, these are all my custom mix. Oh, from my new glitters. So. I told you I make a mess. This is jelly bean. I told you. I'm very messy. 
This one is called Easter Basket. Uh, the one with the flower is called Spring Blossom. Then I got Blue Bell. This one has little stars in it. Look at that bling bling, guys. Then we have Easter Sunday. I have a delay, so I don't know if, I wish you guys could see the colors like, ooh. Anyway, the the color the, the glitters are prettier like in person, no matter what. And then the last one is called Candy Pop. So like a light, light lavender. They are all custom mix. By Glitter by Sparkling Angels. There you have it. There are those seven. This is starting tonight. Uh, once the, um, the tutorial is over, I'm going to add, um, we're going to add the sale and then you could order them. Um, there's seven of them. They are nicer in person. For some reason, you know, I suck at computer. Anyway, but do you guys have any question? Thank you, Marisa. I don't know why. Oh, there you go. I'm like, I can't see any comment here. If you have any questions about the tutorial, I'm gonna leave, um, I'm gonna save it on the on the group hi baby i'm gonna save it on the group which one did you miss i don't know egg hunt i wish i could bring be jolly i'm still looking for a white one the the one i have now is glass slippers and sh what's the uh i forgot the name and i only have a couple left I forgot the name of the white one, but I'm looking for it because Be Jolly is the best white I've ever seen. So, Sandra is Egg Hunt, Candy Pop, Jelly Bean, Easter Basket, Easter Sunday, Spring Blossom, and Blue Bell. I know, and you know what? I never kept Be Jolly for me. Not even one. But now I, all I use is, um, is glass slippers. But I am looking for one, for one white. Uh, I watch replay glass slippers, very nice. Yeah, glass slipper is really nice. But I, I do want to bring Be Jolly if I could get it. Uh, they're not selling it anymore. It's out of the market, but I'll, I'll look for something similar because I, I love that one. So, uh, you need a white, uh, fair, what's the name of the white one? Oh my God, I forgot. 
it's I, I'm like it's a fox I forgot anyway but if you need a fine one um, I would say glass slippers and if you want a plain white it would be either um, pearl white or flash silver for the white ones Rainbow white is sold out. I sold I sold that one yesterday. Somebody bought the last one. Shadow Fox, yeah. That one is the new white that I have. But the Shadow Fox is a little, it's a mix. So it has a little um thicker cut and fine cut. But if you need a plain white, pearl white, or flash silver. I know um, Sandra loves flash, uh, flash silver. I gotta reorder glitters because I'm running low. Uh, like I say, Fairfax is, is, you know, I don't have uh, a lot left. But I'm gonna um, add this new glitters on the website <laughs> oh i added the glitters on the website i'm gonna add it on the group so you guys can see it i should make a video i think lenore, lenore made a video with a with a with all of them maybe she could post that one anyway if you guys don't have any questions about the tutorial i'm gonna let you guys go I show you the finished product once I'm done. I don't know if you want me to paint it, to go live to paint the tail and stuff, but um, I will show you the finished product. If you have any question, you know where to reach me. Send me a PM and I will re uh, respond right away. Uh, if you can't find this tutorial in the group because it gets lost, I'm going to post it on my YouTube. So if you are not on my YouTube, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I know I said a bad word, but I am who I am and I'm not going to change for anybody. And I know you guys love me the way I am. So if you need me, you know where to find me. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. I love you all. See you later, alligator.